We've got our financial advisor, the money man, Lance Hocutt from the Lance Hocutt Financial Group on the phone. Good morning and roll tide. Good morning, Steve-O and Meg. Roll Tide. How are you all this morning? We have been very busy this morning, but we're loving every minute of it. You know, I wanted to forego a, 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 a Q&A uh, this morning to just talk to you from a financial point of view. Who better than you, Lance Hocutt, to talk about the economic impact of the mayor's executive order to shut these bars down for two weeks uh, and to restrict bar activity in restaurants. Uh, just to overall, give us your take on this. I understand uh, the perspective from both sides. And by the way, thank you for 95.3 to bear for opening that forum so people can talk. And I appreciate the public and how they've handled that uh, because you, you take a risk as a host of putting live folks on the air. And I appreciate that opportunity that you've given the city both the, the leadership of the city as well as the, the people of the city that pay uh, for everything that happens. So uh, I appreciate that greatly. Thank but you, to sir. answer that question, Steve-O, it's a, our country is in a, in a difficult situation. None of us, if you think about it, none of us have been through anything like this. Even if you go back to the Spanish flu, you go back, our economic circumstances were such that we're in a different we're in a different world than we were back then, and we're, there is so much income derived from tax revenue. There's so much income derived from people spending money in communities like ours from outside that has an impact on everything we expect. So that's what these budgets are based on. So I understand where the mayor's coming from. He's got to f- focus his, his his future on the budget and how much money is coming in from students and from football and from all sources. Uh, I mean, if you think about it, I mean, we've not had weddings. We've not had big events in the city for quite some time. So I know the tax revenues are down greatly, but also on the flip side of that, you got to think about the livelihood. I mean, I I pray for our, our city and our country daily because I know there are people hurting because the COVID money's run out from our, our federal government. You now you're shutting down their only source of income. Even if it was at 25 percent, at least there was something coming in. I just, uh, folks, I would say get on your knees and pray. Uh, Absolutely, this is not a great. This is not a good situation. Can we come out of it? Yes, the Amer- American spirit can. The entrepreneurs of this world can overcome. And I'll be honest, we've had some setbacks. I mean, you look at the financial industry, but you know what? We're going to get up today and do the same thing we did and do it a little better, a little faster, and a little meaner. And I hope that's what we can all learn is to be a little more prepared for something like this to come along and not worry about government. Well said. Uh, Lance, this probably doesn't surprise you. You probably know this. Uh, You're hands-on with all of this kind of stuff. The mayor uh, says the economic impact of not having students on campus and uh, the university closing online classes would be in the neighborhood of $2 billion to the Tuscaloosa community. The, that number has been thrown out before in relation to only football, but I think it is very accurate. I've seen some numbers from the University of Alabama, and I think those numbers are accurate. I'm not an actuary. I'm not an accountant. Don't play one on TV, but yes. And that's that's all the people that come in to rent. That's that's revenues from gasoline that they buy. That's revenues that from the snacks and the food and the and then it, it goes on from there, Steve. It's not just the revenues. It's it's the person who is not working at Starbucks, if I can use that term, in 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 Bid Good or Austin Hall anymore. So when you shut down the University of Alabama, it's not just it's not just the student, it's it's the lady or the gentleman who went to work this morning to serve food or to sweep the floors or to teach the student or to, so it's a huge domino effect when you start shutting this thing down. So it's not just about the students. And I think because we're so blessed to have that, that crimson tower down there, we think all the time it is about the students, but it's not, it's about so much more than that because I have friends I have a family that work out there that that have been sitting on the sideline because when you shut down those the, the classrooms, guess what? You don't need 
You don't need a, a, a cafe. You don't need somebody sweeping the floor. You don't need somebody selling the books. And that's really how it rolls up. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your uh, insight, as always. And we'll get back to some Q&A. Anybody got specific questions uh, about finances, a more comfortable approach, what you get from Lance Hoka, you just tap that app, 95.3, the Baron send us those questions. And we'll get back to that tomorrow. Uh, Lance, how can we Remember, get in touch with you, brother? That's right, Steve-O. Remember, the Lance Hoka Financial Group is an independent firm. We clear through S.A. Stone. But you can reach us at 205-345-9733. Folks, good Lord willing, the sun will come up tomorrow unless he returns. Y'all focus on that. Everything's going to be all right. Thank you, Lance Hocutt Financial Group.